In this video, we're going to be looking at the solution to part two of question 10a, where they're asking us to find the measure of angle QTS. Okay, and that's another easy three marks. Now, if you notice the letter T is in the middle, so what I'm going to be finding, I'm going to be finding the angle that is located at the point T. And I, here I'm marking that angle. Okay, now if you notice, in this case, I am going to take uh, the triangle QTS and just to be a little bit more clearer, I have basically just cut that out. So let me just pull this in to show you what I'm speaking about. Okay, so here I have it on screen. And if you notice, I've just cut off that triangle there. So I want you to be focusing on this triangle here now, the triangle QTS. Okay, now simply put my friends, when you are given three sides, if you notice, we are, they gave us the length of all three sides in this triangle. And here they're asking us to find an angle, which is the angle located at the point T. Okay, now in this case, when you're given the length of three sides and you're asked to find an angle, you can use the cosine rule. Okay, now remember from earlier lessons, we would have learned that the cosine rule states that a square, a square must be equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc cos of a okay now it's it's pretty easy to remember the cosine rule uh, all you have to note is that um, little a any letter that is out here okay you're always finding the cosine of that angle okay and remember in the previous video we had looked at uh, that each side an angle and a side opposite to it ha shares a unique relationship now here uh, the other two sides if you notice I have common B and common C they are both squared the sum of the squares and if you notice here I'm just subtracting two times BC here okay so pretty easy to remember now let's just quickly get into it now in this case my friends what you would have know what you can notice is that the triangle that they gave us it's not a ABC it's not labeled ABC okay so what I'm going to do I'm just going to be improvising all right so so instead of saying A, since they want us to find the, the angle at T, then we're going to be finding the cos of that angle T, okay? So since we're finding the cos of the angle T, then it simply means then that the side t, little t must be the subject, okay? So I'm going to say a little t square must be equal. And little t, let me just quickly just identify those. This side now would be little t because I'm focusing this side here. Let me do it on this triangle there. That side would be little t. This side here would be little q. And this side here would be little s, okay? In this case, as we had identified them earlier, all right? Now, so basically what we're saying, uh, common t or little t s or little t squared must be equal to little q squared plus s squared minus 2 times q s and I'm finding the cost of the angle t all right capital T now basically let's just quickly substitute if you notice this side here is little t so I'm just simply going to say 7 squared must be equal to 10 squared 10 squared plus uh, 8 squared 8 squared minus 2 times 10 times 8 okay close bracket and then we are taking the cost of the angle T so we're finding the angle at T so we're just going to simplify this let's just clean this up and find what is the angle T let me just change my color here my friends we know that seven sevens will give us 49 so we have a 49 there and that must be equal to 10 tens that will give us a hundred plus eight eights will give us 64 Okay, and here I have a negative 2 times 10, that's a negative 20 times 8, that will give us negative 160. So we have a minus 160, and we're taking the cost of the angle, capital T, okay? Now let's just let's just uh, clean this up here, uh, simplify our equation. So we have 49, 
and that is equal to 100 plus uh, 64 will give us 164 uh, minus 160 and we're taking the cos of the angle capital T. Now if you notice my friends this is pretty easy in from here what we're going to be doing here now, my friends, basically, if you notice, we have 164 minus 160. Uh, here, students or, or individuals usually make a common mistake. They usually subtract here. But if you notice, we have 160 multiplying cos t. Now, as Bomda suggests, uh, since we are multiplying here, uh, we can't just go ahead and subtract. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move the 164 to this side. Okay. So I'm going to have to subtract 164 from one from both sides since this is a, a positive. So I'm going to say 49 minus 164. Okay, this 164 I've taken it across and that must be equal to 164 minus 164. Okay, since we minus it from that side, we're doing it to that this side now, and this must be minus 164 minus 160 that we have there and then we're going to have the cos of t okay so now when we subtract 49 49 minus 164 that will leave us with negative 115 so i have a negative 115 here and that must be equal to uh, a positive 164 will cancel out with a negative 164 hence we'll be left with negative 160 cos of the angle T okay now my friends here I am simply going to uh, since negative 160 is multiplying the cos of T cos of the angle T then I'm going to divide through by negative 160 to take it across which is the opposite of multiplication okay what you do to one side again of your equation you do it to the other side okay so we divide through by 160 a negative divide by a negative will leave us with a positive cos so one negative 115 divided by negative 160 will leave us with a 0 0.7 0 0.7 point seven one eight one eight seven five okay seven five so we're left with that and all of this must be equal to the cos of t okay cos of t and remember t is the angle here that they're asking us to find q t s okay good now basically my friends t is the angle and if you notice now cos is is multiplying t so we're going to have to do the opposite of multiplication which is division so let's move the cos by dividing through by cos okay and i'm going to divide this side also by cos okay so cos will cancel cos now remember the the ruling indices um that we looked at earlier that if a base a raised to a negative power m then this would be equal to 1 over the base a raised to a positive m okay so if you should take that um ruling indices and apply to here to this now if you notice cos when it's in the denominator down here it's to the positive one okay so we need to take it up into the numerator so when we take it up into the numerator here my friends we'll have cos inverse okay of 0 0.718755 five. this is a 5 okay must be equal to the angle t okay now when you find the cos inverse you just simply plug in shift cos inverse of 0 0.718755 on your calculator and you should get t t the angle T is equal to is equal to 44.04 okay and I just round this off to two decimal places so my friends therefore we can simply state now that our angle therefore we can state that therefore three dots the angle which we have found T but they said that the angle T was Q the angle QTS so we can simply say that the angle QTS is equal to 
and I'm going to write it to the nearest whole number. And why I'm going to do that is because if you notice all the degrees, all the angles that they gave us, they didn't specify to write it to a certain amount of DPs and the, angle, the angles that they gave us in the original triangle, they were written as whole numbers. So I'm simply going to write that to the nearest whole number. So I'm going to say this is 44 degrees and that's your answer. Pretty much that easy. Feel free to leave a comment, like, or share with your friends, okay, so that they also can benefit. And see you in the next video. Okay, my friends, bye-bye.